What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Sam's Report. I am in the upstairs office today because there is um, a lot going on in my life, but not so much in the Microsoft world. But there are like two kind of scoopish, insider-ish things, if you will. But before we dive into that, I've got to grab a friend here, which I don't know. Oh, here he is. Uh, because if you're watching on the video, you will see that we got a puppy. We got a puppy. His name is Royce. Um, as in Rolls Royce, so that's where the Royce comes from. He's a little Yorkie, and um, we got this guy when we get you on on Tuesday. We've been wanting to get a dog since we had to say goodbye to our last one about a year and a half ago, a little over a year ago. And so this guy is going to be hanging around for a while. Um, he's tiny. He's two pounds. This is my wife's favorite kind of dog, and so you know what? I'm whatever. And uh, he will blossom into probably five or six pounds when he is full grown. He is three months old right now, and he is uh he's got he's got level 10 zoomies going on and he is just flying all around he likes to sit under my desk which is actually quite nice keeps my feet nice and toasty but uh, back into the world of microsoft and the world of tech this week guys there's just a couple small things going on that i wanted to highlight and uh, one thing that i wrote about earlier this week is a notification showed up on my taskbar in build 1803 that says hey download edge on your ios and android device here, here's the problem. I'm already using Edge on my iOS device. So I wrote this up because it, it felt odd that Microsoft talks about having the best AI, the best machine learning, but I am logged in with the same MSA uh, Microsoft account on my phone as I am on the desktop. And yet here it is, Microsoft should know on the back end, it's like, why would we prompt Brad with this ad that's gonna annoy him when he's already using the product we want him to use on his phone? And so I wrote this up and Microsoft actually reached out and told me, said, hey, yeah, you know what? That was, that was actually an accident. And so I wasn't supposed to get that and they're working to correct it. I just do, I do want to be clear that I am running 1803. I'm not running Insider on anything. Well, I'm running Insider, but not on this machine that it showed up on. And so it's just kind of like Microsoft should be better than that. They should know and they should be more proactive. And if they're going to, the reason why I'm so like hard on them specifically on this is because the ad that they popped up is extremely uh, cumber, cumbersome is probably not the right word, but like you can't ignore it. Like it was in the taskbar in the middle of my screen and just put up a little block that says, hey, download it. And so they wasted that advertising opportunity on something that I already was using. And so it was just a complete wasted effort and annoyance and all that. And just kind of, it, it's more embarrassing, I guess, on Microsoft side that they weren't proactive enough to catch all that. And I mean, I'm sure that other people are seeing this out in the world who are who are using them both. So if you see that and it shows up on your machine and you're using it on your phone, know that it was an accident that Microsoft screwed up because that's not supposed to be happening. Uh, the other small kind of insider scoopy thing here is I've heard from a couple people now after June 30th, I, already, I said there was gonna be some layoffs and some reorg stuff. Um, there have been some minor cuts at Microsoft. I don't have any idea on the scale, but I'm pretty sure it's relatively small based on the, the chatter, if you will, that I'm seeing about. I've heard it from a couple of different people that there have been just minor rifts here and there uh, across the company. So if you hear anything on a grander scale, definitely let me know. But we've got we've got that coming and, and, and going on. Um, other things that are happening in the world of Microsoft this week, Skype is finally getting read receipts. I'm not thinking that's going to make any major differences here. But, um, it, you know, if that's what you've been waiting for all your life, you now get it. And my dog is just freaking out in his bed. I'm um, just rolling around level 10 zoom is going on and then uh, there was a pretty big update for the insiders on the xbox side of life where they can now have uh what is it called fast start which is allows a select group of games for game pass so just keep in mind it's a pretty narrow banded test right now but what it allows you to do is when you're downloading that game it allows you to start it up and start playing a lot faster because if you've ever there's sort of like a poorly implemented feature right now where you can download a game from the store and it'll be like, hey, play this game now. And it's not done downloading it, but all you can do is start the title screen. So they're trying to improve that process. And this is the first big step. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. And then so the other thing is, is that you can now group games and apps in the Xbox uh, dashboard and create little collections and all that good stuff. And so that is what's going on. And then the other kind of bombshell, if you will, this week came, comes from Miss Mary Jo Foley. And uh, this is spot on to things that I'm hearing as well, is that Andromeda, the device that we've all been kind of lusting over, which I don't fully think is necessary, uh, is, is not coming in 2018. Microsoft has decided to hold off on those bits and they will not make it into the RS5 release, which is coming up here, folks. It's sooner than you think. 
And so this isn't all that surprising. When I talked about the, the roadmap, I said that, hey, uh, everything has changed. Remember, Andromeda was crafted under Terry Myerson. Terry Myerson's now gone or in the process of exiting the company. There's new management uh, running the hardware division. And so this device doesn't have a full clear cut need in the world. And so Microsoft is just kind of just sitting on it and waiting. But at the same time, OEMs uh, might be building this stuff. And we've already seen Intel showed off a prototype at Computex in was that Ta Taipei uh, earlier this year. So the hardware does exist and it's around. Microsoft is just waiting to find the right time to launch it. And so if it's not coming with RS5, um, it, it, you know, that means it's going to be a later release, if at all. Microsoft very may not very well may never release this thing if they can't find a true need for it. Just because people think they want it doesn't mean it's going to sell well. And selling a you know a thousand units of a piece of hardware is not going to make it's not going to make money for the company, which is the end goal here. And my dog, oh my god, he's now under. So there's the dog bed pillow, and he's now under the pillow. Anyways, so Andromeda may not be coming. That's kind of what I've been hearing the past week or so about uh, the hardware. That being said. Let me qualify that. May not be coming with RS5. Microsoft very well could ship its own SKU of Windows on these devices if they really want it. They've done that thing with uh, with the ARM builds of Windows in the past. So it wouldn't be unheard of for that to happen. But um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. And like I said, folks, it's been a quieter week. I think next week will be a little bit noisier. I'm pretty sure of that, actually. And so we've got Inspire. We've got other things coming up in the world of Microsoft. Um, I think there's, yeah... I, there's, there's going to be some interesting stuff coming up here on the horizon, I think, uh, based on some of the, the talk around the neighborhood. Like I said, folks, it was a very weird week because the 4th of July in the U.S. was on a Wednesday, which means that it, the week was cut in half and uh, it's not a good time to announce things during this week. And so with all that being said, um, you know, just keep your mind and eyes open for any more layoffs at Microsoft or anything like that. Uh, if you get any errant ads or stuff that you're already using, I'd love to know about that as well, because I can keep pinging Microsoft about why that is happening. And uh, we've got a puppy. And so my life is revolved around trying to get the dog to go potty outside. With that, um, folks, I'm going to wrap it up here this week. Next week will be a, uh, a more traditional Sam's report, if you will, hopefully. And uh, with all that being said, folks, have yourselves a wonderful weekend. And we'll catch you right back here next time.